Hey guys, welcome back to Nail IB's Economics SL and HL for the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. I'm Ame, your tutor, and it is my pleasure to be here with you guys again today. Today, in this video, we'll be discussing exactly what is IB economics. You may have come into IB wanting certain outcomes. You want to learn new theories. You want to learn about economics in a lot more depth. Or perhaps you're just looking for that edge that IB will give you in regards to research. All that's good, but there are certain expectations IB has as well. In this video, we'll be discussing exactly what IB is, essentially what students can expect from it, and essentially what IB expects from its students. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Now, some new changes of IB conducts a periodic overhaul of its academic syllabus. This has happened to economics as well. The syllabus for economics SL and HL have undergone a massive change. So essentially the old materials, the old textbooks and past papers are now null and void. You can still use them, don't get me wrong, but they don't have the same learning outcomes. So the IB has requested all of its students for this first assessment in 2022 to use the new materials. Essentially, new textbooks have been released, but I personally recommend this textbook. Jocelyn Blink and Ian Dorton's Economics Course Companion, first edition by the Oxford University Press. This is by the Oxford IB Diploma Program and it has been published in 2020 specifically for those users who have their first assessment, first board exams essentially, in 2022. That's you. So I highly recommend this textbook. It has a lot of great material and it's always good to have IB centric academic materials to be used in tandem with this course. It really helps because it has little exercises, little pieces of information that would help your understanding. And even if you can't get the textbook, don't worry. This course is more than enough for you to single-handedly work towards that perfect IB7 that we all want for each other, all right? So essentially, please get this textbook, it helps. And if you can't for some or the other reason, don't sweat it, this course has you covered. Now, the IB economics over here, as I said, has undergone a change. I know you have access to the PDF, so I would request you to go to this website. It has the IB economics guide. It's an IBO document which states exactly what all is new in IB economics and both SL and HL. And I think all students should do this for all subjects, not only just economics. So I would request you to go to this website and read this document from back to front, all right? Just get grasp of exactly what is new. And essentially, if you can't figure out something, essentially, if you're confused about what is new, what's expected, this document will really help you out. New IB Economics Guide for First Assessment in 2022. Another website I really want you to check out is Exploring the Changes to the DP Economics Syllabus. Now, this is a public website and it very clearly explains that there are certain very drastic changes, but there are also some things which have stayed the same. And some things which have stayed the same is are the concepts that are being taught. However, that also has undergone a change as we will see in just a little while, all right? And this is also something that I should inform you is that you will have a lot of problems in getting practice papers or past papers. As I said before, that the previous materials, the exam papers of the previous years, the previous batches, they're all null and void and are obsolete. Why? Because the assessment criteria has also changed, all right? So you can still use them, all right? But they won't really give you the best grasp of the current syllabus. Don't worry. Nail IB's IB Economics SL and HL has procured specimen papers of the first assessment 2022 released by the IB. So we will be giving you in-depth analysis and explanations on these new papers. So don't worry guys, we have access to those papers and that means you have access to those papers. So this course is gonna give you the material and the expertise that's, that are required to understand this entire new experience, all right? And finally, all right, it's okay if you're new to economics. Believe me, IB has no stipulations or rules that 
you need to have taken economics in your 10th grade to come to IB economics, right? I know you're probably thinking that, you know, a lot of people have a greater edge if they took it in 10th grade or whatever. That's not true at all because we start off from the very basics. IB itself starts off from the basics and essentially by the time you're done with the introduction to economics, you have the same grounding and expertise in the basics of economics that other people have as well. So it's a very level playing field and you won't have any difficulties. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the new syllabus, about what exactly it is and why we shouldn't fret. It is very important that you guys take a deep breath and believe that you can just power through this. Nail IB is always here for you. I am always here for you. And guys, people have conquered IB before, all right? And so will you. I am confident I will see you in the next video where we will talk about the syllabus changes. Until then, 